Hey guys, welcome back to Top 10 Gaming. I'm your host Lucy McPhee and we're jumping back over to the world of creepy pastas today with our list. This time focusing on the beloved Pokemon Mew with our list of the scariest Mew creepy pastas event gone wrong. Let's jump right in. Event Gone Wrong was uploaded to the Creepypasta wiki. And the story begins with a player telling how there was a new event for the HD and SS that allowed players to get a Mew. They were excited. No Pokemon game had they owned a Mew. As soon as they could, they booted up their DS to get their hands on the Mew. However, they had to wait to use it, as they had a strict regimen in place for their present team. Their team needed to be at level 20 before they could start training their Mew. The wait wasn't long though, and soon enough they had put Mew up front for battle. Just as the event had described, the Mew was level 5, and I knew the move Pound. They figured it would take a while to get it to level 20. Thanks to the fact he gained boosted XP, it barely took any time at all. Following this though, things began to get a little weird. The player now wanted to get his team up to level 30, so he switched out his move for his ever faithful Quilava, aptly named Wildfire. However, the Pokemon didn't appear, instead Mew did. The player was confused, knowing for a fact that they had moved Mew to the back of the team. Before they could think too much about it, a text box appeared that read, Mew wants to battle. The player was getting increasingly annoyed, not understanding why their game was glitching. They huffed and went through the battle anyway, letting Mew take down the opposing Rattata with a mega punch. Once out of battle, the player noticed that Mew had taken the place of Wildfire. Odd. The player went to move Mew to the back, but they then noticed that Mew was still at the back of the group and Wildfire was still in the lead. They continued on, engaging in three more battles with the exact same outcome, Mew taking Wildfire's place. The player decided to restart their DS and did so without saving. However, when the game started up, it put the player right back into the game where they had left off when they switched off the DS. The player's character then turned to Mew on their own accord. Then the cries of Mew could be heard, and a heart appeared above its head, freaking the player out. A text box then appeared that read, Mew wants to serve you, which the player knew was definitely not a thing that should exist in the game. The player started to walk off, heading into the Golden Rod to take care of Whitney, making sure Wildfire was first in place before they did. The player went ahead and challenged Whitney, breathing a sigh of relief when Wildfire popped up. That was until a distorted cry could be heard, and Mew replaced Wildfire. Another text box appeared, Mew forced Wildfire out. Mew wants to battle. The player uneasily continued through the fight, noticing how easily Mew took out Whitney's Pokemon. Following the battle, Whitney didn't speak to the player as she usually would. The player tried, but it wouldn't let them, creeping them out. Not only that, but all the trainers in the gym had mysteriously disappeared. Then another text box appeared. It read, Mew want to know if you are pleased, along with yes or no. Despite the player's true feelings, they hit yes, fearful of what might happen if they hit no. The Mew cried out and a heart appeared above its head. Another text box appeared. Mew wants to continue serving you. The player shook off the ordeal and continued on. The Mew continued taking battles away from Wildfire as well as the other Pokemon the player tried to put up front with the same text box appearing. Mew wants to battle, with the player gradually getting used to it. But then things took a turn. When the player tried to put Sky into battle, a text box appeared. Mew shoved Sky away. Then Sky released a distorted cry as though it was in pain. Following the battle, another text box popped up. Mew wants to serve you. Let it. This scared the player, so they stopped trying to move around their Pokemon. They checked on Sky, noticing her HP was at zero. They tried to select her, but a text box appeared that read, don't. Then another appeared that read, move? Question mark with a yes or no option. The player decided to try to get Sky back in first. When a soft cry was heard, almost frightened, the player went back into the grass to train. As expected, Mew took Sky's place, but then a text box showed up. It read, Mew has killed Sky. Mew wants to battle. The player was terrified. Never had they seen the term killed in a Pokemon game and was just hoping the Pokemon had just fainted and was not actually dead. After the battle, another text box appeared. Mew wants to serve you. You should have let it. The player quickly went and checked on their Pokemon, seeing that Sky's sprite had a red X over it and was now gray. The player tried to click on it, but it just read, Sky is dead. The player quickly switched the game off, hoping that restarting would fix everything, that Mew would be gone and Sky would be fine. However, once the game had started up, everything was the same, with a message showing up that read, Mew wants to serve you. Mew will not let other Pokemon interfere. The player immediately went to the Pokemon Center and tried to place Mew in the PC, but it refused to go. Every time they tried, a message popped up that read, Mew doesn't want to leave you. The player eventually gave up trying, then another message appeared. 
Mew wants to know if you are unhappy with the yes or no option. The player hit yes and was instantly met with a frightening loud screech making them drop their DS. They picked it back up and a message was waiting for them. It read, Mew used a death song. Wildfire had died. Uso had died. Kay's has died. Voice has died. Now you have to use me. The player tried to turn off the game but it didn't work. Mew then said, you can't get rid of me. The player tried to play on from there hoping that they could maybe catch some new Pokemon and use them. But nope. Anytime they did, Mew would instantly kill them. Then all of a sudden the player was taken to a Pokemon Tower, which was impossible considering they weren't even close to Lavender Town yet. Weirder still, it was filled with graves as opposed to being a radio tower like it should have been. A text box appeared reading, you can bury them now. The screen then moved to reveal five new graves. The player went along, a Pokemon being laid to rest with each hole they passed. A text box appeared from Mew. Are you sad? With a yes or no option. Player clicked yes. Mew then said, I'm sorry. I will make you happy. I will serve you. The player tried to restart the game, but again it wouldn't work. A text box read, You can't get rid of me. I won't let you. The player hurled the DS across the room, but it didn't seem to break, not even a dent. The player took some time but eventually went to play Soul Silver again, smiling as the game started up as it should. However, their blood ran cold when Mew appeared, stating, Welcome back. Let me serve you. Well, there we have it. What do you guys think of this creepypasta? Did it scare you? Leave us all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below. If you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss another gaming vid. And until next time, see you later.